Jim Calhoun stared cancer down multiple times, beat it, and got back to coaching. He had acute immense back pain caused by a pinched nerve, had surgery, and against the odds, he returned to coaching less than a week later. He fell off a bike in his charitable ride, broke several ribs, and got right back on to finish. But falling off his bike for the second time was too much to overcome. A fractured hip and the subsequent recovery was enough to force him to reevaluate his priorities this summer, even after saying a week after the fall that he would be back. And you wonder how he turned a remote school in a rural part of the small state with little local talent into a national power. Well, few coaches in college basketball coached as hard as his teams played, were as defiant and cantankerous with the media and officials. Will you please, um, quite frankly, we bring in 12 million to the university. Nothing to do with state funds. We make $12 million a year for this university. Get some facts and come back and see me. Get some facts and come back and see me. And yet loved by his players, notably the plethora of NBA talent that came through the doors. From Daniel Marshall to Ray Allen to Rip Hamilton helping him to his first NCAA title in 1999, to a statesman like Emeka Okafor leading the Huskies to his second in 2004, to ultimately the most magical rides that he oversaw in 2011. Kemba Walker, step back, Walker, Tony and Kemba does it again, UConn wins at the buzzer! When Kemba Walker was the architect for a thrilling five games and five day Big East title at Madison Square Garden, before a six game run for Calhoun's and UConn's third national title. Calhoun dealt with the shadow of an NCAA violation case over a recruit that they never should have bothered with due to his previous baggage. The violations embarrassed the school and cost him a three-game suspension in 2012. Later during the 2012 season, Calhoun and UConn lost a fight with the NCAA over the way in which academic progress was recorded, costing the Huskies a chance to play in the 2013 postseason, the highest profile program to endure such a ban. But his career will be remembered for one thing more than any other, winning. He reached the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame by virtue of creating an elite program without the history or tradition, talent base or facilities as an embedded advantage. Calhoun won three national titles, went to four Final Fours, won over 800 games, coached a number of NBA All-Stars, and will have a legacy that won't be duplicated for decades to come at UConn. He arrived in Connecticut as a gritty Bostonian who was never afraid of a fight. He lost his share with rivals in the NCAA but he won more than enough to be remembered as a legendary figure in the modern era of the sport.